G'day and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to have something a little different here on my crochet channel. We're going to talk about the Cricut Maker 3. Cricut Australia reached out to me and asked if I would like to review and use the Cricut Maker 3 and well of course I said yes. So a huge thank you to Cricut Australia for providing this machine. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, then make sure you click on that and check it out. Did you know that this machine lets you create with more than 300 materials, from the most delicate paper and fabric to tougher materials like leather and balsa wood, all with incredible precision? First of all, we want to go to the Cricut Design Space, and we are going to have a little bit of a quick look around. And you can see here, you can search at the top. There's lots of pre-made projects that you can make for yourself. All you got to do is click on them and they will tell you how to make it. It's really cool. So we're going to go back up to the top right hand side and we are going to click on the green one and we are going to make our project. We're going to click on text on the left hand side and you've got to type in what you want. Make sure there's no space at the end of the row. Now you'll see that it is slightly different to what I have on the screen because this is like the third time I've done this <laughs> to be honest. We're going to change the font and I'm going to click on system. I'm going to scroll down until I find Bernard. I'm click on that one but you can choose any font you like and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller because it's huge. I'm going to click on offset at the top there and we're going to make sure that there's no gaps between the letters so use this little slidey thing to go across you can see it fills in all the space and you can see there I didn't click apply so we're going to go back <laughs> and we're going to go to offset again in case you missed it and we're going to use our little slidey thing till we get to where we want and we're going to click apply there we go so we're going to move our text out the way grab hold of that move it across just to make sure there's no white left there. If we've got white left there, it is going to cut it out on our Cricut and it's going to be a bit of a bit of a pain. So I'm just changing my colours so that it looks more like what I'm going to use with my vinyl. And up here we're going to change the size. Now if I did this again, this bag again, I would make my text a bit bigger. I'd probably add three to four centimetres to each one which is about an inch or so because this did come out a little small but I'm still happy with it but it was a little small so what we need to do now is we're just going to yep make sure it's all good and we're going to make our love heart for some reason the gremlins are hitting this footage but all you need to do is click on the left hand side click on images and then find an image that you want I chose a love heart so now we're going to click on matte it's already pre-selected the size I have so we click on the green one and you can see here on the side it's divided them all up into the different ones because they were different colors before we went to the mat here so first of all we want to click on our text and we're going to make sure it's mirrored just down on the left hand side there you'll see it's green there's a little mirror selection you want to make sure it's mirrored and also your uh, offset you want to make sure that's mirrored as well uh, we're going to cut out our love heart first we're going to stick it in the top right hand corner there and we are going to look at our materials that we're using and we're using the everyday iron-on you can see I've cut a little bit of vinyl stuck it up the top there and it's two centimeters or roughly an inch bigger than what I need it to be So we're going to look at our tools it says load tools and it says put the the uh, the fine point blade in that's already in my Cricut when it came so we are going to the machine we are pressing the up and down arrow and what that's going to do is suck in our mat and I just realized it's too close to the wall so I've just pulled it out a bit so once it figures out what it needs to do the play button on the machine will start to flash you can see a button flashing there it just looks like a play button 
we're going to click the play button and then that is going to it's just going to cut it out I, I can't get over how amazing this machine is it literally just does it for you so you press the button press the play button oh you're getting a closer look here here we go play button click on that and it'll just do it We can see my little love heart has been cut out. See it there. And you'll notice mine's a bit wrinkled. That's because I have uh, already pulled my vinyl off and realized my camera was not recording. So I stuck it back down and just showed you what I did. So we now want to remove the love heart from the match. You can see here that there's a plastic backing to it. That's your little protective backing there. We're just going to grab that and pull it off. And we're going to go on to our text. So you can see it's mirrored there. The text is back to front. We're going to place it in the top left hand corner. And we are going to select our material. So we're going to the iron on holographic because it's a holographic one. And we're going, again, we're going to put this up here and stick it on. And again, I have cut my vinyl two to three centimeters bigger than what we made it on our design space. So again, you press the up and down arrow and it sucks it in. And when it's figured its thing out, it will flash the play button and we press the play button. It's just a just repeat of what we did before. You just want to pay attention if you're doing using different materials just to change them in the settings and everything like that. So we're going to weed it now. We're just going to grab the corner. Oh, how pretty is that? So pretty. And a tip that a tip that my friend Megan gave me is to pull the vinyl down. The expandable suite of tools from blades, pens, scoring, engraving, debossing, foiling, perforating, and more. There is so much for this machine. A rotary blade. This blade cuts through virtually any fabric quickly and easily. Now you can cut fabric on this machine. I'm very excited to have a look at that option too because I do like sewing myself. It's easy to learn design space software. Fully loaded with advanced features includes offline mode, print, then cut and snap mat. For iOS, Android, Windows and Mac. I will be using a Windows computer and so far I have found it easy to use. Flexibility to upload your own designs, use your own images and fonts for free in a variety of standard file formats. For this project that I'm going to make today, I am going to be using the uh, images and fonts that are provided on the Cricut Design Space, but you can of course upload your own fonts and images like I just said. Now, if you're in Australia, the Cricut Maker 3 is available at Harvey Norman and Spotlight. And I didn't realise it was available at Harvey Norman. Um, I saw it at on TV just recently. And I, my nearest Harvey Norman is, it's about half an hour away. They sell furniture, TVs, uh, things for the kitchen, like toasters and kettles and things like that. But I didn't know they sold the Cricut, so I will be checking that out. And also Spotlight. I knew that Spotlight sold them because I do go to Spotlight on a regular basis. Uh, that is our art and craft store here in Australia, one of our big ones. And it's like Hobby Lobby, 
uh, Michael's, Joanne's, places like that. If you're in New Zealand, the Cricut Maker 3 is available at Spotlight and also Warehouse Stationery. I will put all the links that you need in the description box so you can go and check out where you can buy your Cricut Maker 3. So you can see here, it, you're just um, following the instructions that it's giving you, making sure you've got your fine point blade in. We wouldn't have changed it from the first thing that we did, but it's just letting you know what you need to do. So I saw a tip, I cannot remember the person's YouTube channel, but I will put it across the screen because I can easily find it. Uh, and I've just stuck the whole roll on. I'm pretty sure he just inserts the whole roll, but I'm going to be using the cutting mat as well. So I've just stuck it down and um, used my spatula and done that to it. And we're going to see how that works instead. My friend Megan uses a cutting mat. That's, so that's sort of how I've learned by watching her. But I think with the new Cricut, Cricut Maker 3, you can just feed in the vinyl rather than sticking it to a mat. So I haven't done that yet, but I am going to experiment. You can see there the lines where it's cut it out. So we're going to uh, weed it now. Um, I've got a pair of scissors in my hands because I thought I was going to cut it, but ignore what I have in my hands. I do not need the scissors. And I realize in a minute. <laughs> because I could have cut it in, with my really shocking cutting, which did never straight, but why cut it when you've got the Cricut cutting tool? So I've got out my little cutting board. And then it just satisfies me because it cuts a perfectly straight line. So pull the whole, so this whole thing here is just the whole sheet of roll of vinyl. So that's completely still intact. And then we've just got our section with the cut bit, which you can't really see. I can see it there. So it comes up to about there and then I'm just going to... and then trim that off. So now I have a smaller piece to work with rather than trying to work with this whole big section. So this bit here is a scrap, so I can put that aside. And that cutting mat is fabulous. And that cutting tool, I can't, cannot think what they're called. I call them paper cutters, but we're obviously not cutting paper. Um, if anyone knows what they're called, let me know in the comment section below. Oh, look at those sparkles. So I've accidentally ripped it, but it's all right. It is on the bit that doesn't matter. I'm sure if you're an expert cricket maker, you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, what is she doing? <laughs> but I'm learning and this is how we learn. So that's what I have. So we now have all of our pieces. Just making sure that fits over the top before I stick it down and get started so then I know it's going to work. Okay, so that's my love part. All right, let's get to attaching this to our project bag. It's time to unbox our little iron, and it is called the Cricut Easy Press Mini. Mini but mighty, and it's so cool. Apart from being really cute, 
it is very handy to use when you are using iron on a vinyl. Plug it in and put it at your heat setting. I have chose the second heat setting and it'll go green and I'm pretty sure it made a little you know blip blip when it was ready. So we're just going to iron our project just to get any creases out. Makes it easier for our vinyl to stick and look lovely. And here we go we've got our offset so this is just that big blob that went behind the the text and we're going to put that on first. You're going to need some parchment paper or some baking paper just to protect it and don't move it around like I was doing just then, just press it on. What you can't hear on this video is my friend, she's standing next to me, she's also got the camera in her hand and she's giving me advice on what to do. So I started ironing like I was ironing a t-shirt and she's like, no, 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 just press. So if you've ever used interfacing with sewing, how you just put the iron on top, that's what you do. You don't move it around. So I'm just checking to see if it's stuck down and it wasn't. Or was it? Apparently it was. So my friend Megan said that if you can see sort of like a, no it wasn't on the corner, see? If you can see like a little uh, texture through the iron on vinyl, it means it's bonded to the fabric. And I could see this in places, but not all over. You can see me pointing to it. And, but what we did was we zapped it with the iron, the little mini press, uh, another couple of goes just to make sure that was completely bonded to the fabric. This is the first time I've done this so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and my friend is standing there just giving me advice. I was nervous but it was a lot of fun. You can see there I would have made it a little bit bigger come up on my bag. So we're going to line up our text and the plastic bit is a little bit sticky so it kind of holds it in place and again we're going to get our iron and press it on top. Because uh, this is sped up I was leaving it between 10 to 15 seconds on on the vinyl. Um, that doesn't show in the in the video and you can see that I'm just checking and it wasn't stuck down again so I give it another zap. And then, fingers crossed, it has stuck down. So when you're peeling it, do it slowly, just in case it didn't stick down. You can see there, I'm just making sure. And make sure it is flat to your work when you're peeling it off. Don't sort of lift it up and towards yourself. Sort of try and keep it flat to your work. It just peels off a lot easier. So now we have our love heart and same process, parchment paper or baking paper over the top. And then we are going to hit it with our mini press. I sped it up again because, you know, it's the same process, just with a different piece of vinyl. You can see there it just lifted up slightly and I accidentally creased it slightly, the little love heart, but, you know, first timer. So I gave it another go. You can see it's still not sucked in. I think I was getting impatient and I just really wanted it to be finished so I could have a look. But, yeah, just give it another go. Do it in short bursts because you don't want to burn anything or over melt it. When it's ready, you can see there it's creased, and when it's ready, just peel it off. It's still not stuck down properly, but I didn't notice when I was peeling it off, and Megan did, so we are just giving it another go with the iron. Again, you want to make sure you can see that sort of... Uh, Fabricy, fabricy, that's not even a word, fabric texture in the vinyl and that means it's completely bonded. But I'm very happy with the way it turned out and that glitter vinyl is so sparkly. It doesn't show up as much in the video, but let me tell you, you need your sunglasses for it. It's so sparkly. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have a Cricut or you're thinking about getting one for yourself. I would love to know. Uh, what projects do you make if you've already got a Cricut? Um, yeah, if you've got any good tutorial people, let me know as well so I can have a look. And thanks for watching, and until next time, happy crochet, happy cricket. Bye.